so let us recall the definition of clustering coefficient that we have learned in previous lecture the clustering coefficient of a vertex is denoted as cc of a which is a probability of b in the neighboring of c such that this b and c is belong to in the neighbor of a another way is uh, represent as two randomly selected friends of a are friends that means they are connected if you can to randomly select any two vertices which are friends of a that means they are incidents with a they are friends with a or it also can be saying that the probability of the fraction of pairs of a is friend that are linked to each other there are another ways to looking at this another way is the density of the neighboring subgraph so how much the a graph is dense is also depends on that and we also discuss about the global clustering coefficient which is a concept of triplets of a node so we have done two types of triplets into the previous lecture the triplet consisting of three nodes if the three nodes out of them two are connected that means there is a three nodes is there and if two nodes are connected then it is called the open triplet this is open triplet and all the threes are connected that means they form a cycle then it is called closed triplet a triangle consisting of three closed triplets one center of each of the node that means uh, if you have a triangle then it will consisting of three closed triplets because all the rotations that we have it will represent the same so we have learn a global clustering coefficient that is cc of a graph that we have seen that 3 into number of triangles upon number of triplets so we have seen this graph in the previous lecture so we have talking about this graph so we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 vertices are here now if you want to calculate the clustering coefficient of this graph then it is by definition it is a 3 into number of triangles upon number of triplets so 3 into 1 because there is only one triangle is exist which is 1 2 and 5 now how many number of triplets that you need to count so we have a triplets as 1 2 5 1 2 5 1 2 3 1, 2, then we have 2 3 4 
five four six four five one two five one five one two now any other two five four four three two is there any other left so here we have counted 11 all such triplets triplets means it forms this type of figure so there are three vertices and have out of three vertices two are connected so all together uh, uh, it is 11 number of triplets we have so that's why this clustering coefficient is 3 by 11 that we can note from here and we also have counted in previous lecture a clustering coefficient of each and every individuals of this vertex and we have seen that the average clustering coefficients is wise while we may be changed with the global clustering coefficient because the average clustering coefficient that we have obtained it is 3 by 1 and the global clustering coefficient is 3 by 11 is there now these two common measures of clustering are differ and here the average clustering coefficient is higher than the overall clustering coefficient it can be also goes on other way that means maybe sometimes the global clustering coefficient is will be more than the average one and more moreover it is not hard to generate a graph where two plus two measures of this that is a global clustering coefficient and the average clustering coefficient can pro produce a very different number of for the same network now why this clustering coefficients are we have to care about and why they are important the clustering coefficient is interesting for several reasons a clustering coefficient is measures of a degree to which a node in a graph is tend to cluster together so it will say that how the graph will be clustered together and evidence suggests that the most of real world network in particular is social network a node tend to create a high night group or characterized by relatively high density of ties for example if you can i already talked about the situation that in the social network that means in the facebook if you want to travel from one node to another node then you will have a minimum four length curve and that is due to this clustering coefficient is very near to one and it will have a high density of ties there and this like would tends to the greater the average probability of the tide randomly established between two nodes because there is a connection between two nodes is very high and with the higher degree having the lo local clustering coefficient on an average so there is a high degree is there with the local clustering coefficient is very high and local clustering can be used for probe for existence of so called structure hold in the network and while missing a link between neighbors of the person and this structure hole can be be bed 
it can be very bad when interested in a insufficient spread of information or other traffic around the networks because they reduce the number of alternative routes information can be taken through the networks and to understand the small world networks we should under we should understand one more concept that is known as a path length so path length we already know path length the shortest path length or it's just simply path length between two vertices u and v in a graph g is the length of shortest path from u to v and what is the l of g that is the a length path length of the graph g it's saying that a average of uh, all path length between every pair of vertices so it is an average of all sort of things so if you want to calculate the average of that that means all possible a uh, distance between u and v where u and v is in g and there are such possible pairs are n into n minus 1 by 2 but the path and the reverse path will be the same so that's why that two will be cancel out so this will be the average between two parts and here we have consider that the distance between uv is zero if u is equal to v so that is the uh, path length of the graph which tells you that this summation upon n into n minus 1 is there for example if i want to calculate what will be the path length of this tree that is consisting of three nodes and two vertices two edges so we we'll need to calculate what is the a length between every pair of vertices so there are possibilities 0 1 1 2 0 2 so the distance between 0 and 1 is 1 distance between 1 and 2 is 1 we are looking for shortest distance distance between 0 and 2 is 2 so the average path length of this graph that is l of g it is 1 plus 1 plus 2 upon there are three number of vertices so it is 3 into 3 minus 1 so that will gives me 4 upon 3 into 2 so that will gives me 2 by 3 so this will be the average path length is there let us calculate for this it is consisting of 0 1 2 3 four vertices so you have to find out possible or pairs so it is 0 1 0 2 0 3 1 2 1 3 2 3 is there any other pair is possible 
So there are total six possibilities are there because it is N C okay so what will be this distance between 0 and 1 is 1 this one distance between 0 to is 2 distance between 0 and 3 is 3 1 to 1 2 is 1 1 3 is 2 2 3 is 1 the average of this one is l of g here what do you get that is 1 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 10 so it is 10 into 4 into 3 so that will give me 5 upon 6 will be the L of G. So in that way you can calculate what is the L of G of any graph. For example, let's have another one. Let's have a triangle. So it has 1, 2, 3, 3 vertices. What will be the L of G for this? So what are the possibilities? 1, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. So there are three possibilities are there. So that's why 1, 2, 2, it has length 1, 1, 2, 3, it has length 1, 2, 2, 3, it has length 1. So the L of G for this graph is 3 upon 3 into 2. So it is 1 by 2. That is average length. Same way you can calculate for other way the L of G. So a graph, it's called a small graph. If the CC of G, that is clustering coefficient of g is equal to 1 approximately 1 and l of g is also approximately 1 so it is a relatively to size of the graph there are certain examples which is a, we can say it is a small graph for example airline networks Airline networks is an example of a small world graph because if you want to travel from one city to any other city through airline, you can travel by at most two or three airline air. You will, you will fly, you will change the two and three flights, you can reach to your destination if you want to reach to any part of the world. So that is the way we can say that the graph is a small work, small graph so the definition of a small graph is clustering coefficient is approximately one and l of g is approximately one then we say that the graph is a small graph so there is a a, a random graph is also based on the small graph and uh, vaults and st storage they have published a paper in nature in 1998 and they have introduced the concept of this small world graph and in that they have produced a graph and in that they have rewire certain things so that means if you have if you have a cycle 
like this. Then the clustering coefficient and uh, length of this graph is not near to one. But if we can rewire them, for example, if I can join this and this and this one, then definitely the length of the graph will be reduced because previously if you want to travel from this point to this point then you have to go via this path now you have this connected connection is there now you have this connection so instead of traveling through this way you can travel by shorter way so that's why your average path length will be reduced so this type of concept was given by vault and storage and they have they have concluded that if such situation is happening then we can say that the graph is small world graph So if CC of G is 1, then we can say that the graph is highly clustered on an average. And CC of G is 0, then we have, can say that a graph is not highly clustered. So with what we can say is CC of G is approximately 1, then we say that the graph is highly clustered. on an average and cc of g is near to zero then the graph is not highly clustered and the value of this cc of g is always between zero and one okay so that you should know that the value of that will always is between 0 and 1 that you have. Now let us discuss two more concepts of uh, the first one is connectivity. The another one is cohesion. So minimum number of nodes removed before the network become disconnected, it is called cohesion. So minimum number of minimum number of nodes to remove before the network become disconnected then such graph then such quantity it's called cohesion for example if i can say this is the graph we have suppose this is the graph we have so what will be the cohesion for here Here cohesion is 1 because if I remove this vertex and this vertex then the graph will become disconnected. So if I can remove this one or this one or this one then the graph will become disconnected. So that's why the cohesion is 1. If I have a graph like this. Suppose graph is this, then what will be the cohesion for this? Can somebody tell me?
yes what will be the cohesion for this graph how many minimum number of nodes you can remove so that the graph will be disconnected suppose if i remove this one this vertex then it will be disconnected yeah the answer is 2 so if you can remove this one the graph will not be disconnected then you have to looking for another vertex so if i remove this one that means the edge which connect with this one is also removed so the graph will become like this because this edge will remove this edge is will remove this is there this will remove this will remove. so all entire thing is in now you need to remove one more edge let us remove this one node so if i remove this node then the graph will become disconnected okay so the cohesion for this one is 2 so that is the definition of cohesion and we have talked also this thing in one of the practical when we are discussing so that is the definition of cohesion is there that's it for this random graph we have there are lots of other things we can talk on small graph but we are not going to detail of that because we don't have enough time